BenQ have recently released a series of designer monitors. I got my hands on the PD3200U, which is a 32 inch 4K designer monitor. What was it like? Let me tell you. Hi, my name is Tim Wilson from Red Rocket Studio. I'm a designer and an illustrator and a graphic software trainer. I have trained companies from Disney through to Nissan through to Ford and a number of others in between. And I also work as a lecturer at university level. Now, what I want to do today though, is to show you my workflow for some illustrations, but I want to show it to you on this new 32 inch designer monitor from BenQ. It's 4K and it's huge. It really, I mean, look at that. Wow. So I work with the three main Adobe packages, Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, as most designers do. And having a big monitor like this means that I've got plenty of room for Photoshop. I can have Photoshop and Illustrator running next to each other and work between the two packages. The way that I work though, is I always start off with my illustrations done either on paper or I work with an iPad Pro. So the iPad Pro, great little machine that goes everywhere with me, but I use Procreate on there to create my original illustrations. Once I've created the illustration in Procreate, it then goes across to my main machine, which is either a Mac or a PC. I work with combinations of both. And it goes into Illustrator. Now in Illustrator, I then redraw all the line work into vectors. So all my line work is done in here, and then that is moved across into Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I do the coloring, I do the texturing in the background. So how does this monitor compare to others? Well, I've been using a Dell UltraSharp monitor, once again, top of the range Dell. I've been using a ISO Color Edge, very, very good, very expensive monitor, and the BenQ behaved flawlessly. It came out of the box with exceptionally good color. There are quite a few really good little features on this monitor, but this has got to be one of my favorites. The little puck that comes with it. This is not an add-on extra. This comes in the box with the monitor and you can use the navigation in the middle to navigate around um, what on most monitors are usually um, not brilliantly designed systems. Uh, but I love these great big buttons here so I can actually just flick between various modes. So I can go from, in my case, I've set up number one to be sRGB color and number three to be the darkroom, but you can customize some of these buttons as well. And it fits right underneath the monitor very easily as well. To navigate around the settings, you can either use the puck you click the OK to get into your main menu items, or you can click on the little button on the right hand side, and that will take you in to the main settings as well. Use the up and down arrows either on screen or on the puck. When it comes to inputs, there are so many to choose from. We've got HDMI inputs, mini display ports, and a tiny little mini display port down there as well. And for outputs, you can then get your USB 3 to go through the monitor, come out here along with sound, and I really like this, an SD card slot. I hate fiddling around under the desk trying to find the SD slot to pop it in. This makes my life so much simpler. So finally, what did I think of the BenQ Designer Monitor. Well, I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. It was great. The color was good straight out of the box and all the controls are easy to, to use. The puck is fantastic. It's a really good little feature. Would I recommend it to anybody else? Absolutely. My students, my clients, for the money, you just cannot go wrong. Anyway, happy designing. See you next time.